what's going on guys uh, my name is Stephen and this is another video on uh, data engineering um, so this is basically uh, about uh, reading a doing a word count in spark so this is the file I'll be working with and the file is in the local directory not in the ATFS so um, I'll be doing a word count with this file so it's got uh, so it's about uh, 3028 lines um, so it's a big file to be uh, to be honest um, so without further ado let me get started so I'll be using my terminal to work to do the word count so if I type spark show so that should start the spark session for me and um, so I will try to get the local the file parts ready so it's inside here so if I print, print the working directory so this is the five parts I copy it and this is the file name shakespeare.txt so my spark session is almost ready so I'll just enlarge it right so uh, val rdd equal to um, spark the spark context dot text file and uh, since I'm reading a file I will I will say file three four slice then then the the path the directory so um Uh, the file name is Shakespeare Shakespeare.txt. So that should correct the RDD for me. Alright, so if I uh, write type RDD.collect, it should print out the uh, data so these are basically the um, the words inside a file so these are just the synthesis of each uh, um, line I think and uh, you can see it's not printing everything it's just, so it put uh, three dots here um, so the next thing I will do is uh, flat map this uh, array so and uh, I'll be because I want to count every word so I'll be splitting it by the space between each word so so if I could write val rdd1 equal to rdd dot um, flat map um, I'll give it a variable name x then x dot split I want to split it by space and so so if I print out rdd1 rdd1 dot collect So as you can see now we have each um, uh, we have array you know for like uh, each word is separated by comma so as you can see from this uh, output and um, so the next thing I will do is basically um, try to because I want to do a word count right so I want to count each word right so what i'll do is assigned a, 
uh, one uh, I mean one to each one so like if we have um, um, 3d so uh, uh, each of those words we have one you know like uh, digits of one so um, so I'll define a new uh, how did it I'll be how did it to equal to how did you one dot um, so I'll split it what I want to do is map it right map it and then give each uh, word one so map variable name x uh, then so what I want to do is uh, x dot no so I want to return s comma one for each word right um, so x comma one that should be fine I think yeah so how did it to let me print it out how did it to dot collect and uh, so so as you can see right each word has one right so project one comes about one ebook one of one so each of those word each of those words we have one 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 um so the next thing i would like to do is basically uh, count um the uh the number of columns of each word right now so we have the here right the has a uh, one uh, figure right and another the here right it has one as well so we're well, instead of having uh, the, 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 the uh, um, you know separately we want to group them together and count the number of uh, the number of times that uh, it occurs so that is why I'm going to use a uh, reduce by key method. So I'll define um, how did it, did it three um, dots um, reduce by key. Um, so that <coughs> so um, since we have um, um, we have a um, word and integer like string and integer i'll give it a variable of a comma b and <coughs> i mean like uh, that is not uh, really the scenario uh, the scenario is we have a, a mod we want basically want to iterate <coughs> through <coughs> sorry basically want to iterate through the array and that's why we'll be giving it a comma b so we have like a, so if we have a, the first word as one uh, like maybe for example here and the second one is uh, an, uh, an um uh the second the second word we have uh, another one so that will be uh, the one the the, uh, the second uh, uh, digit will be like a b so like a one plus one like a plus uh, a plus b so it will be adding this to this so and if we have the next one it will be adding uh, it will take this uh, this one the first addition as a a and the, the next uh, the next um, uh, integer as b so that is basically the logic so the first one the first occurrence a the second this next occurrence b so that that is it so a plus b and um okay i think i made a mistake there um reduce by key so uh, a comma b uh, okay what have i done it got to how uh, did it to uh, yeah so if I say how did it three dot collect 
so you should print out the um, number of occurrence of each y. So we have uh, young comes uh, two times and r come five times and this one come uh, one time let come ten times. So that, that is what it's doing. Uh, another thing we can do is uh, try to make it more readable. So uh, um, in, in order to do that, we can convert it to a data frame. So we say, um, let's say our uh, DD3, uh, our DD3 dot um, to DF and uh, the first, uh, so I want to uh, use um, this one as word. Uh, like the first um, um, element as well, so and the second one as uh, count and uh, dot show. So how did it trade dot to df word count dot show? So if everything goes well, it should print a data frame for me. Um, so as you can see right we have you know two times or five times let ten times so it's just uh, printing out the first uh, um 20 rows so if you want more rows because we have uh, a lot of words right so we basically have more than 20 rows so you could ask it to print uh, maybe about 40 rows so so 40 so that way show you 40 rows right so we have this one less five times nose nine times um so basically that is how you do what's counting spark all right that is it thank you for watching um don't forget to leave a comment um hit the like button and i'll be uploading more videos by like this so if you enjoy like spark or kafka or another um, data engineering tools more will be coming soon all right um yeah thank you once again uh, have a lovely day bye